Good morning, grade 5 students. Once again, this is your teacher in Science 5, Miss Laura, greeting you a scientific day. For today's lesson, we always start with the learning target. And our learning targets are, I can describe sterile waves and I can differentiate sterile waves from monsoon. Of course, we could not achieve our learning target without our work plan. And this will be our work plan. Review on monsoon, discussion on sterile waves, activity on sterile waves, and react on it for your wrap-up. Let us have a simple discussion or review about monsoon, which is our first session last time. So, monsoon in the Philippines has two main types. First is the Amihan, which is also called the Northeast Monsoon, which is a cool and dry northeast wind coming from Siberia and China and blows down to the Southeast Asia. This is being characterized by slight to moderate rainfall and a prevailing wind that affects the east of the Philippines. Another type of monsoon is what we call Habagat. Habagat is also called Southwest Monsoon. On the other hand is the Southwest Wind. This is being characterized by frequent heavy rain and humid weather. Aside from monsoon, there is another type of wind disturbances which is sterile waves and that is what we are going to talk about for today. And with these guide questions, we can get deepened with our understanding of our lesson. First, what is a sterile wave? And second, what is or what are the differences or difference between monsoon and sterile waves? So let's start our discussion with a simple video about what is sterile waves. Tracking the tropics. When talking about the tropics, you may have heard the first alert storm team mention tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa that can eventually develop into tropical cyclones. Meteorologist Caroline Carruthers has a look at how and why this happens. Well, first off, tropical waves form in Africa because we get northeasterly winds north of the equator and southeasterly winds south of the equator that meet in Central Africa. And when those winds flows come together, uh, they converge on one another and produce a favorable environment for a lift to form the thunderstorms that eventually become the tropical wave. Once the tropical wave forms in Africa, it moves over the Atlantic. This happens when the hot, dry air from the Saharan Desert mixes with the cooler, moist air from the rainforest to form a band of strong wind called the African Easterly Jet. This pushes these waves into the Atlantic. So when they emerge out over the ocean, over the tropical Atlantic, if they can get enough organization, then uh, they'll develop in the tropical cyclones. Many of the disturbances that we see in the Atlantic actually start off in Africa as tropical waves, including the one we're tracking right now. In Mobile, meteorologist Caroline Carruthers, WKRG News 5. So basically, sterile waves is a mis migratory wave-like disturbance of the tropical sterilis. So this happens only in tropical region. A tropical wave is also called as an sterile wave, tropical sterile wave, and African sterile wave in and around the Atlantic Ocean and is a type of atmospheric trough. When you say atmospheric trough, it is an elongated region of relatively low atmospheric pressure often associated with fronts. When you say fronts, this is a change in um, temperature and pressure of a certain place. Sterile waves is best described in terms of its wave-like characteristics in the wind field. It also consists of a weak trough of low pressure. Sterile waves do not extend across the equatorial trough. So in other words, it only happen in above and below the equator. This is a specific part of the trough of the sturdy wave, the west one and the east one. For the west of the for the west of the trough line, generally found divergence a shallow moist layer and exceptional fine weather. So the moist layer rises rapidly near the trough line. 
but what happens in east of the trough line has an intense convergence much cloudiness and heavy rain shower prevail so there is a time that after a certain um, easterly waves in a certain location one part of the location is moist and shiny or um, fine weather but the other part of the trough is um, considered to have thunderstorms, cloudiness, and heavy rain. But what happens during sterile waves? Sterile waves or the northeast trade winds of the sterile waves may move over an elongated low pressure area forming an sterile waves. With this, the wind flows across the crescent of the wave. So the wind across or crosses the um, wave of the sterile winds and what by that the east of the wave air rises and the wave the water before it condenses causing cloud skies rains and all times thunderstorm so that is in the east part of the sterile waves but in the west part has air or the air sinks and having dropped by moisture content earlier it becomes less humid this means the sky is less cloudy and the weather is fair the sturdy wave itself moves westward taking four to five days to pass over an area so it may could or it could have a circulating wind cyclone or thunderstorms with that, let us try to have the differences between monsoon and sterile waves. When we say monsoon, it is a seasonal rain and wind pattern. A switch in wind direction, primary indicator of the change between one monsoon to another. So it just happened in a certain season. But when we say sterile waves, it is a migratory disturbance. It is a wave within the broad sterile current and move from east to west, generally more slowly than the current in which it is embedded. So sterile waves can bring cyclone, cloudy, um, cloudy skies, and of course thunderstorm. But when you say monsoon, it can eventually turn or bring typhoon. That is what makes them the same. So I hope we were able to answer the following question, what is a sterile wave and what is or are the difference or differences between monsoon and sterile waves. And with that, I have here a simple activity wherein you are going to share what you learned. So there is a shared blog in this learning package where you are going to answer the following questions. What is a sterile wave and what is the difference between sterile waves and monsoon? But before we end up our discussion, I would like to share to you this quotation. I'm done with winter. Next season, please. So which means that if ever or whatever my challenges we have in life, please do not look forward into the, dis uh, the effect which gives you negative with that particular problem please look forward to the next problem or what will happen next to it the positive thing that will happen next to it and with that i hope we were able to achieve our learning targets which are to describe sterile waves and differentiate sterile waves from monsoon thank you very much for your time have a science terrific day once again this is your teacher in science miss laura thank you and stay safe bye bye see you next synchronous class